Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about how to do left and right hand turns at uncontrolled intersections. Had a comment from Demonic Nacho Man, great handle by the way, about how fast he goes around uncontrolled intersections. Uncontrolled intersections are intersections that don't have signs or lights to control whether you stop or not. So you just go around the corner. This is going to vary a little bit. But for the most part, on general rule for left-hand turns is 20 kilometers an hour or 15 miles per hour or less. And on right-hand turns, it's 12 kilometers an hour or 10 miles an hour. Those are general rules. Now, obviously, that's going to change a little bit depending on the configuration of the corner. If you have a sharp right squared off corner, obviously, you're going to go a little bit slower than that. If you're on a slip lane doing a right-hand turn, you're going to be able to go a bit quicker, probably up. 20 kilometers an hour, 15 miles an hour, even up to 20 miles an hour, depending on how big the slip lane is and the curvature of that slip lane. So it's going to vary a little bit, but that general rule for speeds will help you out. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to hook up the cameras for you, go for a drive and show you the procedure of going around uncontrolled intersections. And I tried to get the camera to show you the speedometer here, but I don't think you can see it. So what I'll do is I'll shout out how fast I'm going before I proceed around the corner. Be right back with that information. Approaching a right hand turn, approximately half a block from the right hand turn, we're going to slow down, signal mirror shoulder check, and right immediately before the turn, this is an uncontrolled intersection, so I'm slowing down and I'm doing approximately 15 kilometers an hour. Now everything in the video will be in kilometers because the vehicle is in kilometers and it's just easier because I'm in Canada. And again, another right hand turn, mirror signal shoulder check, slowing down, and again, shoulder checking, and I am at 12 kilometers an hour. Now we're gonna come up to a cul-de-sac here, and I'm just gonna turn around and go back the way we came, because unfortunately that didn't work out for where I wanted to go, but I can show you a cul-de-sac here, shoulder check, Keep looking to the right as I'm coming around. But this will work out because we're doing another left hand turn. A little bit of break because we're going downhill, shoulder checking, mirror, signaling, shoulder check. And this one here, because it's a bit sharp, I was doing 15 kilometers an hour around that corner. And I'm in a residential area, so I'm not going very fast. If I was in the States, I'd be doing 30 miles an hour. In Canada, 50 kilometers an hour. Stopping at the stop line before the sidewalk. Can't see, so I'm gonna move up and treat it as a yield, and I can go. And shoulder checking again immediately before I turn. Mirror signal shoulder check. This is a controlled intersection. Stop before the stop line. you can go a little bit quicker as long as you're having control. But for those new learners that are learning how to turn, 15 kilometers an hour for a right-hand turn is a good speed. And then 20 kilometers an hour or more for left-hand turns. So again, a right-hand turn, 15 kilometers an hour. Shoulder check right before you make the turn. And again, mirror signal shoulder check on the left here. Shoulder check immediately and we're at exactly 20 kilometers an hour for the left hand turn, which is gonna be 15 miles per hour in the States. And right, mirror 
signal shoulder check and then shoulder check immediately before and again we're at 15 kilometers an hour for the right hand turn when we don't have to come to a stop. Conclusion, half a block from the turn, mirror signal shoulder check. Right hand turns 10 to 12 kilometers an hour, 8 to 10 miles per hour in the states. Left hand turns 20 kilometers an hour, 12 to 15 miles per hour in the states. Those are good speeds, general rules. As I said in the introduction, the configuration of the intersection, whether it's squared off, you may have to go a little bit slower. Some of the intersections you could go a little bit faster if it's a bigger intersection and the curvature isn't as sharp as it is on a squared off intersection or on your slip lane, you could go a little bit quicker. Practice turns, use those as general rules. And again, learning how to drive is challenging. Turns are challenging, but turns and forward motion of the vehicle are gonna make up most of your road test. Seven eighths of your road test is gonna be in a forward motion. Now, just as a, an aside, one of the things that will improve your overall driving is to go out to a parking lot, someplace that doesn't have any traffic, and practice slow speed maneuvers. Reverse parallel parking, backing up, uh, reverse figure eights, forward figure eights, stall parking, those types of things. Anything with slow speed maneuver is gonna help you to get comfortable with the primary controls of the vehicle, and that will have an overall influence on all of your driving. So if you're having trouble with your turning, Go to a parking lot, practice with the primary controls, and then go out and start driving on a road with traffic and whatnot. Thanks very much for watching. If you like what you see here, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section. All of that helps us out. As well, if you're going for a road test or practicing to get your license, check out the videos below. If you're on a mobile device, check out the cards in the upper right hand corner. Question for my smart drivers. What helped you to become competent with your turns. Leave a comment down in the comment section. All that helps out everyone who's learning to drive. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. Good luck on your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.